Hello everyone. Recently, a district court in North Carolina issued a decision that stopped USCIS from following through on a policy that they issued in August 2018. And that policy was referring to F, J, and M visa holders who overstayed their visa. I talk about that today in our video. I'm Raluca Hanea. I provide immigration, estate planning, and family law services for my clients. My marketing office manager, Nina Clear, is here with me. And we really appreciate your likes, shares, and comments as they help others to see our videos. Okay, so let's break this down because it can be a little confusing. First, tell me about what these different visas, F, J, and M, are. So, who would be affected by this decision? Sure. An F visa is for international students who enter the United States for educational purposes. If someone has a J visa, that means they are participating in a U.S. Department of State approved exchange visitor program. And an M visa holder is someone involved in a vocational or technical school program. Both F and J, the person must be enrolled at an institution that participates in the Student and Exchange Visitor Program. And for these visas, do people have a certain time that they're allowed, like they'll be, they have a legal status? Yes, it is called duration of status. Each visa is different, but it is usually for however long it takes to get their degree they are seeking. So for an undergraduate degree, it is often for four years with two semesters each year. And does their status stop if they are not in the program? Yes, and that is what has become an issue in this case. And what does that mean? Well, for a long time, if one of these visa holders stayed past the time their program ended, they weren't considered out of status until the day after a government official or immigration uh, adjudicates him or her as out of status. The new USCIS policy issued in August wanted the out of status designation to be backdated. And when would it be backdated to? It would begin on the date on which the underlying fact that gave rise to the status violation occurred. What does that mean? Well, let's say someone was here on an F visa, so they are a student and they graduate. They are supposed to leave the U.S. immediately. So if they don't and uh, deportation proceedings are starting against them, their out of status time would in past be when an immigration of official or judge said they are out of status. This new policy would have their out of status time go back to when they graduated. And why is that distinction important? Because as we talked in other videos, the time you're here in the US illegally is very important to know because it makes it so that you are banned from the US for three to 10 years and also can keep you from applying for a visa or your green card for that long as well. And what does this decision mean now? A preliminary injunction means that the court has stopped the policy from being enforced until a court hearing takes place and a final decision is issued. So for now, this is only a temporary decision? That's right. In fact, in this case, the court ordered an expedited briefing schedule, which requires both parties to submit their legal arguments by the end of May 2019. And then a decision will be made as quickly as possible. However, a TRO or temporary restraining order was issued in January 2019 and now this preliminary injunction has been issued. Most attorneys would tell you that it is more likely than not that a permanent restraining order will be issued. And why is that? Well, a TRO is done with very little legal argument. That is why it is temporary. Usually when a preliminary injunction has been issued, there have been briefs submitted and legal arguments for the judge to review. So they are saying, we think this needs to be stopped, but we are going to give you a chance 
to submit further legal arguments to persuade us that it shouldn't become permanent. And even after it becomes permanent, there can be an appeal, right? That's right. So any tips for people who are here under one of these visas and want to become permanent residents? I know I said this all the time, but you really need to meet with a qualified immigration attorney. You may have a way to change your status, but they are not fast and you may not be able to stay here with while they are processed. So it is best to know all your options and be sure that you're not in the US illegally. Also, this new policy may be applicable to people who have gone out of status after the memo was issued in August 2018, even with this injunction. That is why it is really important for you to talk to an attorney so that you know where you stand legally and you can ensure that you are here with a legal status. Thank you everyone who watches our videos. We really appreciate your likes, shares, and comments. We are always here to help. See you soon.